the narcissist wants you to play their game. They want you to do what they want. They want to make it all about them. They want everything to revolve around their wants, needs and desires. They dominate and want to have control over you and the situation. They want to have the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. If they are successful in manipulating you, you will be doing exactly what they want you to do. Everything that you are doing will revolve around them and their wants, needs and desires. Regardless of how you feel, regardless of what might be more desirable or beneficial to you, it's all about them. It's all about their wants, needs and desires. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They don't have any care or consideration for you. All they care about is their own fulfillment. If you play the narcissist game, they will begin to control you. You will be giving them the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. You might become involved in something that is undesirable or unbeneficial to you. They will restrict certain activities or they will limit or regulate certain activities by means of rules and regulations. This is designed to maintain influence and authority over you. And it will have some detrimental effects on you. It has the capacity to have an effect on your character, development and behavior. This is why you should avoid playing the narcissist game. When you play the narcissist game, you are giving them power over you. You are giving them the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. Giving them the ability to restrict certain activities or limit or regulate them. Allowing them to maintain influence and authority over you. Which then has an effect on your character, development and behavior. It has an effect on the mental and moral qualities distinctive to you. It has an effect on your distinctive nature. It has an effect on your strength and originality. It has an effect on the process of developing within yourself and within the relationship. Because it affects your behavior, the way in which you act or conduct yourself. The way in which you work or function. This then affects your development and the process of developing within the relationship. The narcissist uses emotional manipulation. It is a type of social influence that aims to change the behavior or perception of other people through indirect, deceptive or underhanded tactics. The narcissist advances their interests, often at your expense, in a way that might be considered exploitative and devious. They make it so that you can only do the opposite of whatever you want to do. The reason for this might be because they are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about their own needs or interests but it may also be because they are envious and jealous. They cannot get the same fulfillment. They will make it so that you 
have to do the opposite of whatever it is that you want to do so that they don't have to witness your satisfaction as that would trigger them to reflect on how miserable and dissatisfied they are. In their minds, if they cannot partake and get the same fulfillment, you should neither. If they cannot be satisfied and they have to be miserable, so should you. Which is why you have to tone yourself down whenever you are around them. If you appear too happy or satisfied with something, it will trigger a narcissistic injury because they cannot experience those emotions. And they already know that they haven't done anything to make you happy or satisfied. So they already know that it's something outside of them that is making you feel that way. It makes them envious and jealous and becomes a threat to their control over you. Because they want to place limitations or restrictions on you. If you are engaged with someone or someone else that doesn't feel the need to limit or restrict you, someone or something that doesn't have to control you, it makes the narcissist envious and jealous. They will try to love bomb you to get you to play their game again. But as soon as you start playing their game and they know that you are under their control again, it goes back to normal or usual. Because they don't care about your needs or interests. They don't have any care or consideration for you. It's all about them. It's all about their needs or interests. And even when it seems as though they are doing something for you, doing something out of care or consideration for you, it's still all about them. They provide certain things to you only to make them feel as though they exist. As though they are something significant or important, desirable or attractive. It feeds their ego, regulates their emotions and boosts their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. But they don't have any care or consideration for you. It's still all about them. It's about regulating how they feel about themselves. It has nothing to do with making you happy or satisfied. They don't even have the capacity or the ability to connect to a person on that deep emotional level. If they did, you wouldn't be seeing a lot of these behaviors that, are, that they are engaged in. They would be more compassionate they would feel or show more sympathy and concern for you. But they don't have the capacity or the ability to connect to you on that deep emotional level. Which is why you will continue to see them engaging in these dysfunctional behaviors. They don't have the capacity to consider you. They don't have the capacity to consider what you want or how you feel which then creates this inability for them to attend to your comfort or wishes. When you are playing the narcissist game and giving them the ability to deny, to deny your fulfillment or crush your goals and dreams, you are giving them satisfaction. They are enjoying it. They could never fulfill their wishes, expectations or needs. So they don't want to see you fulfilling yours. And when they deny anything that might fulfill you, when they try to crush your goals or dreams, they will be watching you. They will be observing your facial expressions, body language, listening to the tone of your voice, to try and find something that might reveal your pain or displeasure. If they can't see or detect any signs of your pain or displeasure, they might ask you how you felt about a certain choice or decision that they made. 
They might act as though they care about you. They might ask you how it made you feel. They might ask you if you are angry or upset. They are asking these questions to try and figure out what is going on in your mind. They want to know how you are feeling because it will give them a narcissistic supply. It will make them feel powerful and in control. It will make them feel significant and important. It will make them feel as though they exist and as though they matter to you. They do not care about how you feel. They do not care about anything undesirable or unbeneficial that happened to you. They just want to know what is going on in your mind and how you are feeling so that it will give them narcissistic supply. Instead of playing the narcissist game and feeding them, making them powerful and giving them more control over you, don't give them any emotional reactions. Give them a blank stare. Emotionally detached from them. This will give them nothing to feed on. When you criticize the narcissist or tell them that they've done something wrong, you are feeding them. You are telling them that they do have some level of significance to you. They do have the ability to affect you. And once they realize that, they are only going to do the same or similar things again and again. Because when they hurt you, when they make you feel dissatisfied or unfulfilled, it's feeding them. When the narcissist does something, something wrong to you, it is usually intentional. And most often, it is designed to retrieve negative criticism from, from you. It is designed to make you want to question or confront them. Because that's what gives them narcissistic supply. That's what makes them feel as though they exist and as though they have the ability to affect you. So instead of playing the game and feeding the narcissist, don't give them any emotional reactions. Take away your emotions and watch them crumble. Watch them fall apart. Because it is your reaction to them that tells them that they have the, they have the ability to affect you. It is your reaction to them that tells them that they are significant and powerful. But if you take that away, they have nothing to feed on. They no longer feel as though they have the ability to affect you. They no longer feel significant or powerful. And they will have to find another way to get to you because what they are currently doing is no longer affecting you. It's no longer supplying them with what they need. But you remain in your character. You remain in the mental and moral qualities that are distinctive to you. You continue developing. You continue experiencing, growing and becoming more mature. You remain in the way that you conduct yourself, in the way that you work or function, regardless of how the narcissist responds and continue giving no emotional reactions and you will continue to grow and progress you will continue to become more advanced and elaborate thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfathercoaching at gmail.com. 
check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you could purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.